this next section is going to help you understand how to configure Microsoft Outlook with Business Central. And this is probably one of the more highly touted features uh, if you're new to Business Central. Uh, I know that a lot of I'll say competitors over the years have said they are fully integrated into Microsoft. Uh, this is one of those applications or areas uh, when you present it to your prospects, uh, it makes you look uh, like a rock star, a demo star. This is definitely one of those more those wow demos because I could manage an entire business process from within my inbox at Microsoft Outlook. And so to begin, open up your tenant. We'll go into Business Central. Now you could, number of ways in which you can navigate. Uh, you could always go up to set up and extensions here. What I've done is gone into settings. And then in the list of settings, you have the assisted setup. Now I've collapsed the list for your easy for you to find, uh, but it'd be under the do more with Business Central. If you want to open that up, you'll see here, set up your business inbox, and then just follow the prompts on your screen to set up the add-in. So click on next. Now, if I was in IT or I was managing multiple inboxes, I can choose uh, my company. But since again, we're just using these individual demo accounts, keep the default for my mailbox and select next. Now, what is very important for you to select is to make sure you send that sample email message. Uh, this is what's gonna help make that connection and tie Business Central to Outlook. So slide that over to the right, select on Next, and then hit Finish. Now, however you prefer to navigate to get to the inbox for Outlook, uh, I'll go here, use the App Switcher, and I'll right click on Outlook because remember I'm in that profile or my incognito browser. So if I right click and I open that up in a new tab, I don't have to log in again. It recognizes the credentials of this experience. Now you'll see in my inbox, right? I've got a welcome to Business Central. Uh, you may wanna just to open up the uh, icons here, make sure that this is a trusted uh, sender or on your safe list. So I do the trust and then they'll kind of give you a little bit cleaner email or sample message. Now over the top right, there's uh, the ellipsis, the three dots. Go ahead and select that. And towards the bottom, you'll see Business Central. So select that and then choose Contact Insights. Now this is a, a one-time setup. so should you receive additional emails as you're setting that up in Business Central uh, from recipients that either are customers or vendors, uh, you won't have to go through this again, but it's basically just a, a single first time setup. Choose the sign in now, uh, allow, so just follow the, the prompts, uh, accept them accordingly. And now you'll see that I have, that the authentication process is complete and now I have the add-in working with uh, my within Outlook Web Access. Now, this is more than just what I want to say a cute add-in, right? It's more than just giving me year-to-date sales, current activity, ongoing sales, orders, and quotes. Uh, but again, as I showed you from the three ellipses now highlighted on vertically. You can do a lot, I can change companies, I can look at inventory if I scroll down. Again, there's quite a bit of activity or tasks that I can perform within this add-in. Now, once I've had that set up, you can tell the experience isn't necessarily the greatest. And what I mean by that is using Outlook Web Access. While most customers have made that transition to Office 365, Right? You'd agree that most of us are still using the desktop application. And so for me in my demos, what I tend to do is I'll go into my inbox. And from here, 
what I'll do is I'll go to File, Account Settings, and I'm going to go ahead and choose Account Settings and choose New. And I'm going to go ahead and let me set that up manually. I'm going to put in that username that I created, my demo account, basically. So this is the one we created in the demos.microsoft.com. I'll connect Office 365. You probably want to slide this to the left. It'll take a probably a little bit of a quicker time. When I recorded this, uh, captured these screens, I left this by default, and it took a little bit longer. But put in your password, hit done, and again, I could start to get different accounts to display. Then, as you go over to the navigation bar on the left side, probably at the bottom of your page, you'll see that new user that you created. Now, for me, what I like to do is right-click on that inbox. I don't need all these other folders, but I want that to be showing up in my favorites. And so now you can see I have Business Central showing up in my screen. You may need to restart Outlook. And then when I do, notice now I've got that add-in working. It's up here in the ribbon. So when I choose the email, that sample email, I choose Business Central, you'll notice now I'm, I have that add-in working. Now the reason you're seeing here, it doesn't recognize this administrator. I created a new user. Uh, so I can allow myself to either add that as a contact or maybe associated with an existing contact. So in the live workshop, this is a great opportunity for you as a partner, as an attendee, to really explore this. And so what I would encourage you to do as you're pausing and playing this video is to follow the steps. I've given you a really easy exercise. Now that you have the add-in working, what I'd recommend you do is you go ahead and create a new customer and you choose whether that's a B2B or B2C, it doesn't matter. Uh, add the company name and then add your at work email address. So for example, Craig at Microsoft.com and you'll find that under the address and uh, contact. Then from that same email, from your at work inbox, I want you to send the email to the demo account. Send that to the admin at your CRM, whatever the tenant is. Then in the body of your email, I want you to request items from inventory. So go figure out what those items are. I gave you an example. You can just say, hey, can you send me 12 Athens desks? Choose send. And then from the browser, right, if you didn't connect Outlook, open Outlook from the admin inbox and then go through the add in demo and then tell me what you see. If you want an example of what that looks like, you can open up the demo playbook. Again, I mentioned that in the downloads, uh, either the quote to cash demo highlighted or in the bookkeeper. Both of those are highlighting the Business Central with Outlook integration. And again, this is one of those presentations I want to make sure you understand because it's important as we're blending the gap between productivity apps such as Office and certainly Outlook with the structured world of accounting and finance, it's important for you to understand how to do demonstrations like order to cash or quote to cash or procure to pay within Microsoft Outlook and the integrated experience with Business Central.